Barbara Goldenskeed and I'm very happy that I'm today with Si Young Lee from the Republic of Korea. Hello, so good to have you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah. So Si Young, how are you doing right now? I'm doing great for now because I just finished the season. Yeah. Yeah. So you just said, yeah, you just ended the season and it was at World Team Trophy where you won the silver with Team Korea. How was that experience for you? It was like dream for me because we we didn't expect it, the medal at the first because we just wanted to compete at there to qualify for the Team Trophy. And suddenly the... We won the silver medal, so it was like, I still cannot believe it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. You really came out of nowhere, the young Team Korea. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it was also your first team competition. How was mm -hmm. this in a team for you? I and I didn't ex expect, expect it because I didn't know that the competition well, I know that the competition is exist, but I, I really don't think about that we are compete there because back then we don't have a pair and then I stands. So we, I just, oh, uh, the team trophy is not for Korea. I just thought like that, but. In the middle of season, I heard about the team trophy, and there's might be we we could we can go and compete there, and and then, uh, well maybe, but it's not it's not official, right? So, and it it depends on the world results. So, I was kind of hoping, but not not expected. But expected, but not expected. Yeah, so. Yeah. And it was my first, and then first for me, and then first for Korea. So it was really precious experience. Yeah, I can imagine. So we want to get to know you today a bit better as a person. So let's start at the beginning. Like, how did you start skating as a child? I started skating when I was 10. After I watching, watch it. Vancouver Olympic, the the Yunakim won won the gold medal, and I impressed by the victory ceremony because it's like the lighting is focus focus on the only the medalist. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's so cool. I want I wanna be like that. I I want to stand on the podium the highest podium yeah so yeah, like, i start, started so like you and kim and you were 10 years old already so that's quite late that mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. for a professional skater yeah. yeah yeah you you progressed really fast then <laughs> yes at the time i was i was like you already late for the professional because many other skaters like started figure skating seven at least a so you already late and then there's no worth and then it's really expensive sports so yes exactly and mom mom said we cannot afford that but but here i am <laughs> yeah <laughs> here you are <laughs> so you were really convincing to your mom and to the coaches so i have to progress really fast than other skaters because yes. I started late so it was kind of tough but yeah you worked hard I guess <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> all right you said already Yuna Kim was the first uh, skater you saw was she your idol or you have any other uh, well any other idols that you looked up to yeah she is still my idol and then other than figure skating because mm -hmm. she effect a good effect to Korean figure skating that's why now we suddenly we like up mm -hmm, you went up the yeah all team Korea yeah. yeah not about me like all Korean skaters and then other than 
she was kidding. It's like she donated many plays and then like, yeah. And she's my still idol and then a male skater is like, is Josh Ferris. Mm -hmm. She's my, he's my mm -hmm. idol, skating yeah. idol. Yeah, we come back to him later because you worked with him, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. For your new programs. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. So yeah, you, we come back to that later. Um, But yeah, you already became an Olympian last year. You qualified. <laughs> Maybe you can talk about that a bit. I mean, when you started watching the uh, figure skating in two, uh, 2010 with Vancouver and then you were uh, at the Olympics yourself, how was that for you? Every every skater's our dream is like compete at the Olympic and then Olympic medal. But I I was kind of I I was kind of knew that that especially Korean male skaters is not that many as like ladies. So mm -hmm. and it's hard to hard to compete international because there's a lot of good skaters and especially. The male skater had had to jump far, mm -hmm. so yeah. I every interview, like I said, my goal is compete at the Olympic, but it's not it's not it's not real my goal because I was kind of knew that that I I thought I couldn't go to the Olympic because it's so hard to get to the olympic right so yeah especially man. if i if i have to go to olympic then there's there's have to be two spots for korea because there's a june so i was like oh i think that's that's not that's not possible yeah so i was kind of just i like skating and love skating so my goal is just skating happy and then without injured and then suddenly just the chance came in and I was like really <laughs> really yeah I still I still cannot believe that I compete Olympic well I didn't well at the Olympic but yeah you were there you know you, you were yeah, there I, you can say you're an Olympic I were, there, I were there so I was like after after the Olympic there's a there's a jacket team career jacket so I wear wearing this and if I go a every anywhere, the people are like, oh, you went to Olympic? I was like, I literally went to Olympic. I was like, I were there. <laughs> I, I was there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you will go again. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's far, but it's definitely possible, right? And uh, yeah, then we will probably see a free skate. <laughs> <laughs> all right you have already quite i mean you've been to the olympics and you've had already a lot of other international big competitions um i just uh, you went to six four continents already like that's a lot two three junior worlds you were at worlds last year um like looking back on your career so far what uh maybe was the brightest memory what was the highlight of your career so far I was I was kind of surprised that I compete, participate the four continents six times. I really didn't know that I. I was like oh, <laughs> and three junior worlds, and then worlds and the Olympics. Well, brightest memories. I think each years the memories are, memories are changed because. Anyway, the Olympic and then worlds. It's like, it, it's like past memories. So I would say world, well, world short, short program. Yeah. Yeah. For you, now. Yeah, for now. Exactly. And then last year at the Grand Prix at the France, free skating. Yeah. Yeah. You were, you were totally clean there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you would have the yeah. second best free skate, right? Yeah. yeah. Of everyone. Yeah. That was an amazing skate. I remember that. I was there. Yeah. Especially the World Short. World Short was like, I pers I compete at the season like 9 or 10, include the nationals, not international. Mm -hmm. But I 
I couldn't. I didn't skate well every at the every short. I was like fell every time on the quads, even at the Olympic. So after the Olympic, I was like, uh, do the practice went well, really went well, but in competition, I fell all the time. So I was like, what's what is problem? <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? Then, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, and then at the world, I was like, just do it. <laughs> Just do it, and then I already I already fell all the time, so there's there's no more no more mistakes because I fell every jumps at the short, so I was like, and then I was really happy after that because that's my first clean short program during the season, and then I got season best score, so yeah. Yeah, and bad at the world, so no better, yeah. no better opportunity. Maybe, maybe yeah. Olympics, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's an experience, you know. I think yeah, you learn from the experience, and then you could deliver at worlds. Mm -hmm. And now you have a very high chance to go to the next worlds because Korea has now three spots for next yeah. year's worlds, right? So yeah, I was there at the at the worlds as an audience oh you were in japan as audience yeah yeah i were what? i were i went to japan for for watching and then little trip mm -hmm. because since i couldn't go to world there's a like it's it was kind of off season right yeah exactly i i really i expected team trophy but it, it wasn't it wasn't sure at the time so i was like well the world held in japan so it's close to japan so korea is close to japan so oh how about for as go to as an audience because i'm a skater and but i also love skating so mm -hmm. i want to watch but but every time when i go to compete i couldn't watch because um i still have to do my program so yeah you have to prepare and everything I prepare for my, my thing so it, it, that was kind of a shame but but for this time no pressure no compete and it's close and so and when my friends just up yeah and we together we went to world wow world. Yeah. that's so cool so how was it for you there like what did you enjoy the most <laughs> uh i me and just we were literally watching figure skating four days after that i was like oh i love skating but for a while i don't want to watch figure skating <laughs> because after that we really exhausting and yeah. most and i remember that the uh, june won the silver medal and i really cheered i really hope team korea they are do well at the world because I know I pre I practice them all the time so I know they're really work work hard for the for the competition so I was, really, I was literally praying yeah <laughs> and then, please clean <laughs> and then June and every every skaters and then June especially June just delivered everything I was I was like wow yeah is it is it really june <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah i'm really surprised and they're really thankful for for him because i know he really wanted to wanted to skating well and after his skating there's like he was he was third in the shore yeah so he just got the third, right? So, but after the second skaters, oh, is he is he silver? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's oh well, well, we don't know. And then the result, like, <gasps> is it silver? Silver <laughs> spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah, he was amazing. Uh, yeah, it was so ama amazing for that, and then especially the competition. Whole competition was amazing. Yeah.
um, I think it's a great perspective that you say, yeah, true. Like usually I cannot watch. And then you have the chance to once be a part on the other side. And next year you will be participating, I guess, again. <laughs> For that, yeah, I will. I hope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's talk about new season because you announced already your two new programs. Um, you announced them pretty early, like one of the earliest skaters. Like, um, may, may, why did you announce them that early? Because I already decided music and then finished the choreo. So there's no reason to not announce them. So I just and and it's it's like. It's like it's not really announced because because I just I'm just ska skater and then I just post the thing that I will skate with this music. So it's like it was like it's not kind of announced, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, I wanted to know the fans mm -hmm. that I work with my role model. Mm -hmm. So I so I announced that early. Yeah. So let's start with that because you work with your role model Yasha Ferris on the free skate. Um. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Maybe you can tell how was working with him and mm -hmm. what makes him such a role model for you. Um. At the 2015 for continents, which is held in Korea. At at Bokdong Ice Rink, I remember, because I trained at there. Yeah. And at the time, I was like, not a kid, but teenager. At the yeah. time, I injured, so I was kind of rest, rest. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't know any international skaters because I, I didn't know about the many competitions, but. At short program, the Josh just skating with "Give Me Love" by Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Wow, well, yeah, wow!" I really, I really shocked in a good way. I was like, <gasps> "So good!" Is this figure skating <laughs> instead? He's my role model. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for from now. Great, now. great memory. So uh, yeah. how did it come along that you worked with him and how was working with him? So, and after that, 2017, I went to Colorado for mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. and he was training at, at the time, but I wanted to, I wanted to less lesson from him, mm -hmm. but he couldn't do that because he was still skating. Mm -hmm. So. So it was really shamed and I hope I really want someday I want to work with him and this year this year and the four continent was the Colorado so well maybe I met him at the at there so mm -hmm. and I really met him at that competition and we talked about and then yeah that's what that's how we work. We work so together. Skated, yeah. Yeah, so your free skate will be to the song Cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um did you choose it or did he choose it? And um I he recommended. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He rec because I wanted to I wanted to learn his style. So mm -hmm. I want so he recommended and then at the first time I was like it's a really good song, but it's really not my not my style because mm -hmm. I was kind of worried about that because I didn't do the style the song like a cloud. Yeah, it's really calm, right? Like yeah, really quiet. Calm. And then yeah. like a voice. Yeah. And he said, D "Don't worry. You said you wanted to learn my style, so I was like, okay, <laughs> then I'll follow you. <laughs> no matter what reason, I'll." Just follow you. Yeah. And how do you feel now about it? Do you think you can you can manage? Yeah. 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 I, uh, I really love this program. Yeah. I feel I I feel like 
drawing the drawing the free skating choreo i was like oh i feel like i'm josh <laughs> yeah I feel like i'm josh <laughs> and <laughs> so cool i can really see you skate to this music i think this mm -hmm. calm uh, style i think it could suit you very well my coach is uh it's not really not your style and really look different other than program like a mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we will see. You're excited. No, really exciting. Exciting and also scary for that. <laughs> and yeah, you still have some months, but yeah, you just feel like Josh and it will be. <laughs> I'm Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, so your short program also you announced it already. It will be to a bittersweet symphony. Mm -hmm. And that's of course a very famous song. But I can't remember many skating programs to that. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you decide on that song? The song is also recommended by choreographer mm -hmm. Catherine and then mm -hmm. Ben Agosto. Mm -hmm. They recommended the song, and okay, I just okay <laughs> because, like, like a few years, like I choose my song, mm -hmm. so. Maybe this time, choose recommend by the by choreographer. The mm -hmm. So, I just yeah. Yeah, but you also grew into this program already, or how how did you like this idea when you heard it? Uh, when I first heard about song, they said, oh, when I first heard heard about song, I was like, it's really good, but it's kind of just like. It's not, it's like, just like, uh, no up tempo. So mm -hmm. kind of worry about that, but they, they told me they will edit some, some beats. Mm -hmm. So the, and then after that, I heard the whole song mm -hmm. and it was like, oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, exactly. It's like a little bit repetitive, the song. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, we can be excited about the, the edits that make it good for a skating program. Um, and yeah, do you know the movies and series where these songs were included? Because mm -hmm. those songs are like from very, like were used from very in very famous TV series or movies. Yeah. Uh, did you watch them? And, or... I was like, when I first heard about title, Bittersweet Symphony, Okay, I I did I don't know about that, but oh, I know this song. I heard somewhere like mm -hmm. that, and uh, it's from the it's from the the crown. The crown, yeah, right. Yeah, the crown. The series, the crown, and in the nineties, it was in the new movie Cruel Intentions. But maybe it's a bit too old for you. Like it was a very yeah. <laughs> famous movie in the nineties. So I asked my choreographer, "Do I have to watch?" Then they said. <laughs> Well, if you want to, but it we it it's not about the movie. So if mm -hmm. you want to, then watch. Then it's not. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I just okay. I'll watch sometimes mm -hmm. later. Then still, I didn't watch. <laughs> yeah, but you 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 create your own movie with your program. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's about lyrics, not mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. So they told me you perform skating with lyrics so yeah yeah very nice so very excited about that so about elements you also you said already at world team trophy you plan to add more quads um yeah you did the quad loop at the first time at world team trophy yeah do you plan to add this uh, next year or how is the process going on the quads uh I tried, I tried quad loop at the team trophy mm -hmm. because before I went to Japan at the, at world, I went to Colorado for Koreo mm -hmm. and at there, it was kind of, it was kind of great. It's kind of okay. So I decided to try quad loop at mm -hmm. the world team trophy. And also this year, except the Neville horn. I fell all quad jump at the shore, so I was like, well, <laughs> it it doesn't matter which quad I try, so just try. It. <laughs> yeah, so I tried, and then I landed in the morning practice, 
Mm. But I fell on fell on the competition. But it was kind of it was kind of good experience for next season. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 maybe want to add it next season. <laughs> yeah, next season. Yeah. Next season for now. For now is I'll try both program short and pre pre skating. For now, well, we don't know. <laughs> we don't, we the, don't know. Yeah. 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 Are you also working on other quads like quad li quad flip, quad lats or something or not yet? I practiced on them like uh, years ago and mm -hmm. it was not bad, but I couldn't more practice because the season were coming. Yeah, so. of course. And this year I my goal is to get back my quasal because last year uh, last year I couldn't try the quasal because of my boot problem. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to get back mm -hmm. the quasal because thanks for that I go to Olympic because I landed quasal at the Never Horn and I really wanted to get back so I'm working on it working on right now yeah 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 i was a bit surprised because i remember from last year that the quad sal was your bad best quad so you mm -hmm. said you had the boot problems like what exactly was there what's happening there my boots i i currently wearing royal elite mm -hmm. from lee sports mm -hmm. but the boot the the model is not product anymore so i have to switch mm -hmm. to another Yes. Yeah. Another mo model. Model, yeah. Yeah, it's good for skaters, but it's lower than what I used to skate. So yeah. it's kind of hard to get used to it. So I decided to just just skating with old model. So so that's why I couldn't try the Quasal okay. last year. So okay. this year maybe I change this model and then get used to it and then get back to quad style. Ah, okay, I see. So yeah, it's like always a big uh, big difference like when the, you just change, yeah, change a model. Yeah, I yeah. can <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you jump your quads often with the two arms up, like the rip and jumps. <laughs> um, is it easier for you? Or like, when did you start doing that? Um, I started doing that, I remember since 2006, 17, 17, I think, with the combination triple toe loop. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, the tunnel was a trend. Every Russian skater is doing this. So yeah. just, I was trying this like for fun. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was kind of okay for me. And then first combination to triple toe and then, and then triple loop and then triple play like more jumps. I edit more jumps and then mm -hmm. from now I feel e comfortable with this because and then I realized that I'm tall and then my legs are longer than what it called for other skaters or like your <laughs> longer than here yeah then your then your upper body or yeah so yeah. it was kind of, Doing this is helping like balance. Mm, yeah. Yes. The air. So for now, it's easier to doing this. Is it? Yeah. And it also looks really cool, especially when a tall guy like you does this. <laughs> I heard a lot. I heard everywhere just remove the tunnel. Really? Because, yeah, <laughs> because it's too many. And then. Okay. And they, and they thought. Because of that, I lose like a balance and they fold some jumps. That's their opinion, and so just to consider about that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you you rather tend to do a little bit less in the future. So recently, I working on jump with this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah. You you have both. I see. I yeah. see. Um, so how will your summer look like? Will you keep training in Korea? Will you go elsewhere for training? Um, for this summer, I'll be stay Korea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then little rest because I started this last season at the July. The 
suddenly suddenly there's a qualifying for university competition mm -hmm. so i have to prepare very early for senior skaters so yes and then also yell yell him yell him mm -hmm. and so i was like july august september october november december january right? january february march april now 10 months april. It, it's almost 10 months so i was like really exhausting so i wanted to rest mm -hmm. some like uh for a while and then get back to yeah to well i'll i'll keep training but get back to proper training mm -hmm. like uh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make it to take it a little slower for some time mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Yeah. So uh yeah, do you know how to start your season already? Will you do a challenger or is it all open yet? Uh I'll plan to compete two challenger series for mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. but I don't know yet because because I'll I have to know that the Grand Prix. Yes, I hope yeah. there's there's two spa for me. <laughs> So after that, I'll decide and then we, and I'll talk with my coach. So mm -hmm. yeah, but there's two challenger I plan. Okay, good. Yeah, great. Um, so you just mentioned already you needed to prepare last year in July already, uh, for some competition. And in general, we have the uh impression from outside of Korea that in Korea there are so many domestic competitions. There are these mm -hmm. uh, ranking competitions. So much more competition domestically than in other countries. Um, yeah, are, what do you do? You like that? Is it an advantage for you or a disadvantage? What do you think about it? I'm actually Korea has not that many domestic competition, but mm -hmm. there's a there's a two national, so that's yeah. most what why the people will think there's so many domestic competition. Yeah. The, there's a two nationals. Mm -hmm on in december ranking and then january is uh, is really proper national mm -hmm. well if two competitions are national but it's really uh, yeah national so there's a two national two nationals okay yeah um and uh when but they they decide the world spots after the ranking competition right really kind of it's kind of confused because for outside viewer, the competitions for national team and then international competitions for quali qualifying mm -hmm. for international competition. And then for ranking, ranking is for co for continents. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, it was qualified, used to qualifying university yet, but it suddenly changed last year. I don't know why, but so ranking is for for continents and then for for team korea like a national team for national team yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah i think yeah. yeah and then the second national national yeah. is for world okay and then national team okay i see yeah. Ah, I see. So, do so, you like that system, or would you prefer to have one national? I think there's other countries are just one national. They have a one nationals, but yeah, we have two nationals, and then I think the other countries are like they training by their their hometown because the countries are big, and then many ice rink for training, but yeah. Korea is. Korea is not that big and then not many ice rink for professional athletes so mm -hmm. so if I didn't so national team is like we training at Taeun ice rink which is national ice rink so we're training comfortable then so comfortable so and then there's a specific time for ice skate Mm -hmm. So, if I if I didn't make the make the national team, then I have to training with just other ice rink. Then, then I have to skate like early morning, six a.m. or nine, like eleven yeah. p.m. like that. So, 
So, so it's really like, important. <laughs> really important, yeah. And then, yeah, it's really important because so it's like at the national ranking and the com- nationals, mm-hmm. it was the, it was like, there's of course four, four continents in the world, but I don't, I don't have to go there. I just need to make national team. <laughs> okay. Because if I, if I didn't make the national, then I have to like, so, which is, so that's why there's two nationals mm-hmm. because we combination the scores first one second one and then the results are coming so yeah yeah there's two nationals i think but for now for now is to i think it's too many for seniors because they have a lot of international competition that well, around that so so but it's kind of hard because it's not only for international competition it's like for national team and the training system so yeah which is why all korean skaters participate the ranking in the national yeah. the na- in the national yeah yeah, yeah but yeah it, it's a bit much uh, yeah <laughs> i see i see um so uh looking uh going a bit outside of skating um what uh you're a student outside of skating mm-hmm. right Uh, so what exactly are you studying and how do you combine combine that with skating? I study sports science. You do actually go to university or is it all online? Yeah, I actually go to university. But mm-hmm. because it's too far from where I live and where I train. Training, yeah. So it takes two and a half hours mm-hmm. to get there. So if I go there, then the day is that I couldn't do the training because it's literally... Five five hours of on the road, yeah. Going, going come back. So yeah, when I go to school, then I I study three three sessions, three lessons, and then just stay there a whole day, like a nine to six or yeah. five. Oh wow! And then I just, just just like sitting and listen lessons, and then <laughs> come back. Okay, how often do you go there? Oh, it's I was you know, twice in a week mm-hmm. uh, when I when I freshman, but mm-hmm. for now, once once a week. Once a week. Okay, I see. Yeah. So how how long do you how how far along are you? Like, are you doing the bachelor's or like how how long do you still need to study? Well, I I could graduate this year, but. I decide to not because there's more de- degree mm-hmm. degree to get, yeah. d- to get graduate graduate so I think maybe for this year yeah yeah okay um what else do you enjoy doing outside of uh, skating in your free time any hobbies I actually do nothing <laughs> skating because Yeah. Well, I do something, but it's not that like a proper thing. Hang out with friends mm-hmm. sometimes, and then just rest in my bed. <laughs> All good. Reason I go to schools things, and then my mom, my mm-hmm. mom recording every jumps during the during the practice. So I just watch, what what watch watch that watch. Watching that and then feedback self by myself and then yeah yeah I think that that's all and then yeah yeah hang out with my friends and then sometimes ka- karaoke karaoke mm-hmm. like a sing. singing yeah I get it yeah, yeah nice. there's there's a there's a ko- there's called koi noreba mm-hmm. it's it's we called kono it's it means like coin is coin mm-hmm. Coin and whatever is karaoke, mm-hmm. so it's like not a proper room, but it's like a for one or two people mm-hmm. just coin and the one song or two coin and two song like that. Yeah, I so, see. Yeah, and you like doing that with your friends. Yeah, with my friends or by myself. Mm-hmm. When I 
when I upset or when I so tired, when I really wanted to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And you just sing out all your emotions. <laughs> I was like, ah, and then out, like, going home. Very nice. Well, that's a good hobby, you know? <laughs> Very nice. Um, so how would you describe yourself, your own character? Maybe in three words or more than three words. <laughs> I would say fun, Tano. <laughs> what was the second one? Tano, Tano, Tano. Tano, tano. yeah. And then obviously tall. Yeah. <laughs> so what goals do you have for yourself in skating, for your skating career? <laughs> My goal is always the same. Is like until I retired, skating really hard and then really practice hard and then skating hard and then and then just enjoy the every moment because mm -hmm. at the time it's really hard but after that it was like at the time was good time I thought so just enjoy the moment every moment and then not get injured and so that's my always goal yeah <laughs> Okay, let's end this a few with your these what's your favorite questions so that the fans get to know you even more. <laughs> okay. So let's end with like what's your favorite food? My favorite food is rice because I'm Korean because I I eat, I eat rice every day. Mm -hmm. And then especially specific is like rice and meat. What's your favorite animal? Dog. Puppy. Mm -hmm. Puppy, yeah. Because, yeah, puppy. Do you have a dog? Yeah, I have two dogs. Oh, nice. Yeah, what kind of dogs? It's like, I don't know what what, what they're called in, in English. English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dash? Dash? Like a long body and the short legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's mixed. Mm -hmm. So... And then Korean dogs, so it was like, can I just mix dog? Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Uh, so yeah, you have them for a long time already, or are they still? Yeah, yeah it's been like it's been like almost, almost seven and eight years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, long time friends. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> What's your favorite kind of music to listen to in your free time? I recently just listen my program music because mm -hmm. I have to get used to with them and other than that is just uh, just K-pop mm -hmm. yeah K-pop and then classic music and then some kind of pop for skating because I, I have to prepare for the next season music so yeah Great. Uh, what's your favorite travel destination? Where would you still want to go one day? Roma. Rome, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that country, but <laughs> I really want to. It's go Italy. There. Yeah, to Rome. Like for, for vacation or trip or something like that. Nice. I hope you can do that one day. And as the last one, what's your favorite element in skating? My favorite element is, I would say jumps, but I don't like jumps at the same time. So it's like a love-hate relationship. Yeah, because jumps are most biggest, biggest points in the element. So it's kind of, char it's kind of charming, kind of sensitive. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Thank you so much for taking your time. It was Thank a you. real pleasure. It was so much fun. Uh, really looking forward to these new programs now. And uh, I guess I see you at a Challenger event then. Next yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope so.